So let's have a look at derivatives of trigonometric functions. So let's remind ourselves of the six trigonometric functions. So if we wanted to take the derivative of d by dx of sine of x, this is going to be cosine of x. If we take the derivative of cosine of x, this is going to be negative sine of x. So if we take the derivative of tangent of x, this will be secant squared of x. So the reciprocal functions. So d by dx, so if we look at the reciprocal of sine, which is cosecant, so cosecant of x, and I'm just going to write it like this, cosecant of x. And this is going to be negative cosecant of x multiplied by cotangent of x. If I take d by dx and I look at secant of x, so secant of x, this is going to be secant of x multiplied by tan of x. So now d by dx, now I'm going to look at cotangent of x, and this is going to be negative cosecant squared x. Now, if we look at our functions, cosine cosecant, cotangent, these are all negative. So this is going to be something we can do to remember. Any function that starts with a co, the reciprocal is going to be negative. Derivatives of trigonometric functions. So we're going to look at uh, computing the derivative. So first question, compute the derivative of f of x is 8 sine 2 of x. So if we look at our function here, this could be rewritten. Okay, so let me just write it over here. This could be rewritten as 8 sine x multiplied by sine of x, which is sine of x all squared. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the chain rule. To solve this question. So we have 2 multiplied by 8. So 2 multiplied by 8. And we have sine of x. And we're going to minus 1 from our power. So it's just 1. And then we need to take the derivative of our sine of x. So the derivative of sine of x is going to be cosine of x. So if we just write, rewrite this, we'll have f of x is 16 sine of x cosine of x. So let's have a look at another one. So compute the derivative of g of x is equal to 8 tan of x plus 9 cosecant of x. So to find the derivative, we have two, two separate terms. 
So we need to find the derivative of our 8 tan and then of our 9 cosecant. So first of all, so we just have 8, this is going to stay the same. So tan, if we take the derivative of tan, this is going to be secant, so secant squared of x. And then if we do cosecant, we have plus 9 multiplied by, cosecant is negative, and is cosecant of x multiplied by cotangent of x. Now, because we have our positive and our negative here, we can simplify. So if we do that, this is going to be minus 9. So let's just check another one. So compute the derivative of, so if we had g of x, 2 tan of x minus 7 cosecant of x. So again, taking the derivative, so 2 stays the same, our tan of x is secant squared of x, and this time we have a negative 7, so a negative 7 and we're going to multiply, and cosecant is negative, so it's going to be negative cosecant x, cotangent x. So because we're multiplying a negative and a positive, so these terms, this can become positive. So we're going to change this to plus 7, and uh, that's the final answer. Okay, so we have a real world question. Suppose that the function u of t measures the displacement, which is measured in centimeters, of a weight suspended from a, str a spring, which is at t seconds after it is released, and that the, the function of ut is 2 cosine of t. So we're asked to find the velocity. So the velocity, it means we need to differentiate once. So we're going to find u prime. So first of all, ut is 2 cosine of t. So to, u, to find u prime of t, which will be the velocity, and I'll just write that by there, the velocity. We are going to need to differentiate our term. So we're looking to find, uh, 2 is going to be the same, but we're looking to find the derivative for cosine. And the derivative for cosine is going to be sine, but it's negative sine. So this is negative sine of t. And now we just need to simplify this here. So we're going to rewrite this, that u of prime of t is negative 2 sine of t. Okay, another question, find the derivative. So this time, f of x is equal to 2 sine of x minus x. So we have uh, two separate terms, and uh, we can just uh, go ahead and find the derivative. So the derivative, so 2 sine of x, we're looking to find the derivative of so, so sine of x. So sine of x is going to be cosine of x. And this is just going to be multiplied by 1. And then the derivative of uh, minus x, this is just going to be minus 1. So this is our answer.